Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Farzane. Uh, I work at Princess Margaret Genomic Center. I'm coordinating all the um, spatial transcriptomic projects. Uh, today, um, I'm very excited to be here today uh, to present the technical part of the Xenium and um, to explain to you what actually happened to your samples when you submit your samples uh, for Xenium. So, um, Xenium in situ uh, gene expression is an end-to-end -end platform from 10x Genomics um, that provides highly sensitive targeted gene expression at subcellular level in both fresh frozen as well as formally fixed paraffin embedded um, tissue sections. A Xenium analyzer processes data during the run, uh, enabling us to um, explore and uh, visualize data um, right away. It's an imaging-based technology um, that uh, allows us to in, um, profile up to 5,000 genes um, in about five to six days, including cell segmentation. Uh, it's uh, actually two to three days um, hands-on, uh, and uh, depending on if depending if you do the cell segmentation, and also two to three days uh, instrument run. Um, depending on the size of the tissue and size of the panel. Uh, gene expression is measured uh, uh, with three different types of probe panels, uh, including pre-designed panel, add-on custom, as well as standalone panels. Depending on your um, project, you can choose between these three different panels. If you target a specific cells, um, you can um, go ahead with um, different type of uh, pre-designed panels uh, already available at 10x Genomics. Um, there are different um, panels with different sizes. Um, if you're uh, interested in studying the um, additional markers other than the ones present uh, in pre-designed panels, you can add up to 100 genes to pre-designed panels and create your add-on custom panel. Also, you can do fully custom. Um, up to 480 genes as a standalone panel. Um, both pre-designed as well as add-on custom panels are compatible with both mouse and uh, human, and standalone custom panels uh, are compatible with most species with well-annotated transcripts. There is an option of advanced customization, um, which includes the um, probes that target um, fusions, um, bacterial and viral uh, sequences, protein tags, as well as uh, fluorescent reporters. Uh, on this slide, um, I'm showing you the overview of the Xenium workflow, which uh, includes sample preparation, uh, following by probe hybridization, ligation, and amplification, a cell segmentation and staining, which is an optional step. I will explain uh, every step in detail uh, shortly. And uh, finally, loading your um, sample, your Xenium slides into Xenium Analyzer, um, which uh, samples go through the cyclical rounds of probe hybridization, um, imaging, and removal, generating um, the optical um, signature, which then translated into gene identity. And finally, data visualization. The whole process, as I mentioned, uh, will take about five to six days. Um, Xenium slide, um, um, the sample area or imageable area where you can mount your tissue sections on is about 10 to 22 millimeter. Um, the sample area, including fiducial frame, is 12 to two, uh, 24 millimeter. Um, you can mount, um, as you see here, um, you can mount a multiple tissue section on uh, one slide as long as they're not overlapping or covering fiducial frame. This is a very uh, crucial step for sample processing. Uh, we don't want um, this tissue section covering fiducial frame, which creates um, interferes with uh, further um, downstream processing. Uh, and 
When you bring your slide with the issue mounted on the Xenium slide, we assemble that on a Xenium cassette, uh, and we need to uh, process the slide in assembled in Xenium cassette during the whole ride. There are several um, steps that we need to incubate our slides on thermocycler. We use this um, um, gray um, silver adapter um, provided by 10x Genomics. We put that on top of the 96 volt PCR machine and incubate uh, the slide that is assembled in um, Xenium slide cassette on top of this adapter. Um, tissue preparation step for FFPE and fresh frozen samples are uh, different. Uh, other than the tissue preparation step, the rest of the protocol uh, is the same for both. Uh, I start with um, preparation of the tissue for FFPE sample. Um, when, after you mount your tissue sections on a slide, um, we do. We need to do deparaffinization for uh, FFPE samples, which happens at 60 degree for two hours, following by some xylene and ethanol washes. And then we assemble the slide in slide cassette and proceed with decross-linking, which happen at uh, 80 degree for half an hour, following by some PBSD washes. And for fresh frozen, we need to um, fix and permeabilize the tissue by um, 30 minute incubation and fixation buffer, which we, we prefer, and following by some um, washes with 1x PBS as well as uh, ethanol. After this step, from probe hybridization, everything will be the same for uh, both tissue type. Um, uh, Xenium probes are padlock probes that. There is no possibility to submit a fresh sample. Sorry, could you please? Is there no possibility to submit a fresh sample? Uh, for, uh, you mean for fresh frozen? No, yeah, no fresh, no, fresh. Like, uh, down. Uh, there, no. Uh, like, uh, like uh, I don't know, like a mutual. Uh, single cell RNA, single cell vaccine, that I submit the cells, like just after sorting? Uh, no, no, there is no, you cannot do that. Yes, you need to prepare the tissue block. Um, uh, in the next presentation, um, another presenter who is expert in tissue preparation will explain how to prepare fresh frozen as well as FFE uh, blocks. Uh, and after you make the tissue block, you have to section uh, and you mount your tissue section on a slide. It's mm -hmm. for uh, FFPE, it's five micron thickness. The tissue needs to be cut at five micron, and for fresh frozen, it's 10 micron. Um, so, yeah, after tissue preparation, we uh, do probe hybridization, which happen overnight at uh, 50 degree. Um, pro Xenium probes are padlock probes that have two sequences that bind specifically to target RNA and one sequence that encodes gene-specific barcodes. Uh, after probe hybridization, uh, the, ligated, uh, the um, probes ligated uh, using ligase generating um, circular DNA probes undergo um, rolling cycle amplification, generating uh, multiple copies of genus-specific barcodes. This step is cell segmentation. As I mentioned before, it's optional, but it um, gives you uh, more accurate cell segmentation. This option adds uh, one day to your workflow. It happened overnight at four degree. You stain uh, the tissue with uh, DAPI for nuclear staining, um, using uh, antibodies to stain cell membrane as well as uh, cell interiors. Uh, if you skip this option, uh, the regular Xenium is just DAPI staining um, for nuclear staining and cell segmentation. But if you see here, uh, this is the data from 10x Genomics. Um, on the first column on left, uh, this is DAPI staining, and the last column is um, um, multi-modal staining, 
uh, that gives you much better, um, more accurate cell uh, boundaries. Um, this data uh, is from human pancreas, um, breast and mouse liver. Uh, this cell segmentation instead uh, works really good with um, tissue that dense tissues like liver. Uh, if you see, it could detect and um, um, make boundary very well for cells with two or more um, nucleus. Um, and then uh, there is an autofluorescence quenching to increase the signal uh, to noise ratio. And finally, uh, you're ready to load your slides into a Xenium instrument. There is an optional post run step. Uh, after the run completes, you can do either HNE or IF staining on your tissue sections. Uh, these are the images that I took from my um, last Xenium run. Um, the, now you're done with the bench work, you're ready to load your sample into Xenium uh, instrument. And the first step is initializing and loading. Initializing takes about 10 minutes. Um, the system check um, itself, and then it allows you to open the lid and uh, load the instrument. This is the inside of the Xenium instrument, empty, and then we load the buffers that we make and the uh, reagent plates. And finally, at last, we load the Xenium slides and then close the lid and start the run. Once you start the run, uh, samples can take about one hour, and uh, at the end of one hour, it gives you an image of your tissues, something like this. Uh, this one is, um, this is one Xenium slide uh, containing two tissue section. Now you have to select um, your tissue, and um, Using these tools, you select each field of view that contain your tissue and not the field of views that don't have any tissue on. And you need to label uh, and name your tissue sections. Um, at last, you will get separate files for each tissue section. So you want to know which data belongs to which tissue section. The next step, you start the run, it shows you how much time left. And um, it, as I mentioned, it usually takes about two to three days, depending on the size of the tissue and size of the panel. Um, after the run completes, you come back, you do cleanup, which takes about five minutes. You unload the instrument. At this step, you throw out the reagent and buffers, uh, but you store your Xenium slide. You can switch buffer to 1x uh, PBS and store slides at 4 degree um, for further analysis. Um, you can do either HE or IF staining, or you can um, go ahead um, directly right away with HE or IF staining. Um, after the run completes, you can um, go to um, analysis uh, summary files and check your data right away. Um, this is the data I got from 10x Genomics website uh, on human lung cancer using add-on um, custom panel. Uh, for each summary file, for each tissue section, you have five sections. The first section is summary. On summary section, you have some key metrics uh, showing, for example, the total number of cells detected, the median transcripts per cell, the cells without any transcripts are excluded from the calculation. A nuclear transcripts and the total high quality decoded transcripts by high quality, meaning um, the, all the transcripts detected with FRED score greater than 20. The next um, section is decoding. On decoding, you can see the uh, gene um, transcripts quality uh, plotted by mean quality of all decoded transcripts. The, uh, for example, for this sample, 87.1% of all the gene transcripts are with high quality. And also another section is uh, gene count. You can um, split the, for example, in this case, you use add-on custom. You can split the pre-designed from your um, add-on genes um, and also search any genes you're interested in on this section. 
the next section is cell segmentation. Um, the, it gives you uh, some uh, parameters like the total number of cells detected and uh, the percentage of the transcripts within cells, which you want to be high, of course, and the percentage of empty cells. If you get any error um, on the run, um, you will get, for example, high percentage of cell empty cells. And uh, if you select to do the cell segmentation method, uh, you will get um, three uh, parameters here showing the percentage of cells um, stained by uh, DAPI or interior staining or cell membrane staining and the total number of cells stained. Uh, the next section is analysis section, which uh, where you can find the all the clusters um, again, um, all the total number of um, highly high quality uh, transcripts detected, and finally uh, you see uh, these um, images, uh, the morphology focused images. You can use these images to um, verify that the stains actually reflect the um, expected morphology. There are um, much more to explore, and uh, um, I will let uh, the next presenter um, to um, present uh, more about uh, data analysis and panels. I would be happy to take any questions.